Hey everyone, Pastor Kerry here. In just a minute, you're going to hear a message from a very unique setting, so stick with me. But I'm sending this out a few days before the biggest day on the church calendar, the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Now, if you're not part of a church or you're watching this sometime after Easter, it doesn't change the fact that the resurrection is relevant to anyone, anywhere, at any time. Now, last year about this time, we were just entering a period of history that none of us could have anticipated. And now it seems we may be coming out on the other side and returning to at least some semblance of normalcy. And yet people are still searching for answers and hope and purpose. Now, some of you are going to recall the message I delivered from the bridge last Easter to illustrate how Jesus provides hope and healing through all kinds of circumstances. Well, I believe it's a message worth repeating. In fact, it may be more relevant than ever after all we've been through in this past year. And if you haven't heard it, I believe it's going to uh, inspire you for today and encourage you for what's down the road. But if you're facing any kind of a challenge right now or you know someone who is, share this video with them. Around Easter time, people are as open as ever to hearing a message about Jesus. So don't hide the hope. Now, this was part of a larger broadcast, so there are a couple elements uh, that refer to things outside of this brief illustration, but the main message stands alone. And the theme of the broadcast was how Jesus' resurrection changes everything. So with that in mind, be encouraged as you listen. What Jesus did for us really does change everything. Most importantly, our relationship with God, because that's what really matters in the end. But what we celebrate today, Jesus' resurrection, can change our entire outlook on life, including how we look at death or the future, or what we see in the Bible about promises and prophecies and miracles, even how we view Jesus himself as more than just a good teacher, prophet, or religious leader, but as God's Son and our Savior, who gave his life and defeated death so we could have a personal relationship with him. You know, the songs we sang just a bit ago celebrated Jesus as our living hope, which is exactly what his followers needed on that first resurrection morning, when less than two days before they had witnessed the brutal execution of their leader, teacher, and friend. And for all they knew, they might be next. But on Sunday morning, their fear took a radical turn toward hope when a few grieving women discovered an empty tomb and encountered an angel who asked, why are you searching for the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen just as he said. Those words changed the course of history and infused hope into a hopeless situation. You know, when people feel hopeless, they just can't see past the desperate situation they're in at the moment. They may try to imagine where they'd like to be or think they should be, but they just can't see how to get from here to there. But hope is like that bridge that spans the gap between a point of trouble or despair to a place on the other side where everything is new and revitalized. Hope is the bridge between pain and purpose, between hurt and healing. Hope is the reason that chaos can end in peace, sorrow can turn to joy, and failure can actually lead to success. Because of God's hope, weakness can become a strength, and brokenness can bring wholeness. And through his death and resurrection, Jesus himself became that bridge of hope between fallen humanity and faultless deity, between imperfect people and a holy God between a, a life without purpose and the life God intends for you. That's the bridge Jesus came to build. And you know, the next to last thing he said when dying on the cross was, it is finished. The bridge is complete. Jesus' sacrifice provided everything we would ever need. You know, the prophet Isaiah foretold that by his wounds, we are healed. And that healing is a complete package, body, mind, spirit, Anything that you need to be saved from, rescued from, set free from, Jesus' sacrifice secured it. You know, the Bible uses some deep words to describe what Jesus did for us. Things like reconcile and ransom and redeem. 
But all that's really saying is that he paid our debt so we could be free to have a personal relationship with God. And while the cross of Christ made that purchase, the resurrection sealed the deal for everyone who entrusts their life to Christ. Think about it this way. Jesus' death paid the price. His resurrection provides the power. Philippians chapter 3 and verse 10 talks about knowing Jesus in the power of His resurrection and the fellowship of His suffering. You know, in this life, we are going to face trouble and suffering because we're in a world that's constantly pulling away from God. But when those skies are darkest, that's when our faith really needs to shine because experiencing the power of Jesus' resurrection often means crossing that bridge called hope. And that's not going to be easy when the bridge is higher, it seems too long or too narrow, or when the view from the edge looks pretty unsettling. But that's the way a lot of people feel today. Throughout our nation and around the world, people are looking for hope because we're all crossing a bridge we've never crossed before. But rest assured, nothing takes God by surprise. And He never asks us to cross a bridge alone. In fact, before He left the earth, He told us that He would always be with us. Now that doesn't mean we're always going to know what's coming down the road. When those women set out for the tomb, they had no idea what they were going to do when they got there. Mark chapter 16 says that very early in the morning, as they were on their way to the tomb, they asked each other this question, who will roll the stone away? But when they got there, they found that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled away. So I ask you today, is there any part of your life right now that feels like there's just a huge stone in front of it? Something you can't move on your own. Maybe you feel trapped in a tomb of illness or confusion, or maybe you're dealing with financial and emotional stress or struggling with addiction, anything that causes anxiety or attacks your faith. You don't need to move that stone alone. God will move it for you and bring you out safe and strong and whole on the other side. You know, when they laid Jesus' body in that tomb, the Bible describes it as bruised and broken and crushed. His flesh literally shredded off the bone. But he came out of that grave with a body that was renewed and healed and whole. All that remained from his suffering were the scars because that was the proof of his passion and power and purpose for our lives, that one day we too would be raised to be with him forever. But right here and now, you may have a need that can't be met by a sermon or kind words or good intentions. 1 Corinthians 1.17 says that if we could do that with our own words and wisdom, the cross would be emptied of its power. But 1 Peter 5.7 says that we can cast our anxieties on Him because He cares for us. You know, you and I may care for each other and still not be able to do a thing to inspire hope or provide answers, but God has both the compassion and the capability to meet your need. I can't tell you how He'll do it. What I can tell you is it will probably be in a way that you don't expect. But if you keep pressing forward, looking to Jesus as that bridge of hope between you and God the Father, then He will move that stone and will bring you out whole on the other side. So as we sing this next song about God's grace taking us from sorrow to joy, from confinement to freedom, death to life, remember His salvation is complete. And whatever's going on in your life right now, physical, spiritual, material, emotional, surrender it all to Him. And as you do, I encourage you to demonstrate that, maybe with open hands or uplifted arms, or maybe placing your hand on the shoulder of a loved one who you know needs a touch from God. Or maybe you just want to stand and celebrate the freedom that Christ secured for you. However you feel inclined, let's praise God now and celebrate the fact that the power of His resurrection provides the hope and healing and wholeness we all so desperately need.